Hi guys, welcome to the hints video for lesson 6.4 on your own. I'm going to go through how to get started on some of these. Okay, for the first two, we're looking for the explicit formula, the type, and the missing term. So, um, my first hint is that this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, and to write the explicit formula, you're going to use this form. u sub n equals u sub 1, that's your first term, plus common difference times n minus 1. So, to write this formula, you just need to figure out oops, what these numbers are. So, your job is to find these values. Okay, and then you're just going to plug them into the formula. Um, for finding the random term, remember that that subscript is the term number, which is n in our formula. So you're going to plug in n equals 340. And that's how you will find the term. Okay, so that's it for the first one. Let's do the same thing for the second one. My first hint is that this is a geometric sequence. Uh, my second hint is the general form for the explicit formula. So for a geometric, that's u sub n equals u sub 1, the first term, plus common ratio to the n minus 1 power. So to write the formula for this sequence, you're going to need to just figure out what those two values are. You're going to use the sequence to do that, and then you can just plug them into the formula. So you're going to find these values. OK, and for the term, uh, same thing. That subscript is our term number, which is n. So you're going to plug in n equal to 18 in the formula. All right. Um, next two, we're going from the formula to the sequence and um, then finding the term. So uh, for this one, we see that the operation is multiplication. So that means it's geometric. OK, and to write our sequence, we want to know the first term and the common ratio. So those are going to be right there in your formula. So this is u sub 1 and that's your common ratio. So that's my hint for that one. And again, for the term, our subscript is the value of n, so you're gonna plug in n equal to 13. Okay, next one. Um, we see that the operation in this formula is addition, which means this is an arithmetic sequence. So to generate the sequence, we want to know the first term and the common difference. And those are right in your formula. So this is going to be u sub 1, and the 19 is going to be your common difference. So you can use that to write your formula, or your sequence, sorry. And then for your term, again, 97 is your term number. So you're going to plug in n equal to 97 in your formula. Okay, and that's it for the ones you're required to do. Uh, there is also a challenge that is similar to the challenge from the try then check. This is, it's not actually that hard. What's a challenge about this is that this is a neither arithmetic nor geometric sequence. So in the notes, I didn't go through examples like this. Um, if you want to try to work with it, you're welcome to. For the term, it's exactly the same. 285 is going to be your value of n, so you're going to plug in n equal to 285 in your formula and just go from there. That'll find that term. For the sequence, you're going to want to plug in some values of n. So you want to find the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. To do that, you're going to plug in n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, 
and you can keep going and that will get you the first few turns in your sequence. Okay, I hope those hints are um, helpful and help you guys get started. Let me know if you have questions. Have a great day.